I have a very special episode for you today, folks. I'm bringing on one of my favorite West Virginia Mountaineer football players, Mr. Sean Martin, from right here in southern West by God, Virginia. I hope you enjoy the video and where I'm going to bring it to you right after this word from my primary channel sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive, where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. Sean, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well. Uh, one, before we get too far into this, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this interview, and that is uh, Brandon Disney over at State Farm Insurance in Bluefield, West Virginia. Brandon provides insurance and financial services in West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. He is here to help you manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and help you realize your dreams. Brandon and his team specialize in auto, home, and life insurance. And as a side note, Brandon is the agent for not only Sean, but also some members of Sean's family and has been for quite some time. So if you want to use the same insurance agent as Sean Martin, then check out Brandon Disney and give Brandon a call at State Farm Insurance. Sean, uh, let's just start off. I want to congratulate you first off. I read yesterday that you have been named to the National Football Federation's Hampshire Honor Society for your work in the classroom. So congratulations on that. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> So it shows that you're not only trying to do things the right way on the field, but off the field and in the classroom as well. So uh, you deserve kudos for that. Let's just start off with a simple question, man. Uh, I know you get this a lot, but as you know, like I told you before the show, I'm from Princeton. I'm a local guy, so I'm all obviously interested in seeing you local guys do well at West Virginia and local gals too, for that matter, that, that play. But can you just explain a little bit uh, what, what it was like to transition from Bluefield High School to playing at the Power Five level at West Virginia, um, it's like a hundred times different from West Virginia sports. Like mm -hmm. moving from high school to college, um, I would say it's more competition. Um, right. And when you play in West Virginia, it's not very many talented people, as there is in other states. Like you'll right. recognize that as soon as you step foot in the college campus. Mm -hmm. um, I would say um, just. Learning from like people old, like older than me, like Dante Darius, um, one of my old best friends, Akeem Mesador, um, mm -hmm. just learning like the way that football should be played at a right. high level. Right. Um, I really just, you know, kind of followed their footsteps a little bit and just try to learn a game and just elevate by just working hard, uh, following Zach in the weight room. Um, just really just like, like I, I believe that I worked hard when I was in high school, mm -hmm. but when you get to college, there's so many people that are as talented as you that you might right. have to work harder than them. So, right, yeah, I'm sure when you're when you're I mean when you were at Bluefield, I watched you play, and you were I mean you were dominant on the field. You were you were typically bigger, stronger, faster than most of the guys you played against. So I'm sure going from that to where you go to the Power Five level to where you know, like you said, you've got guys that might be as good, might be as big, may be as fast maybe a strong, right? So you got to work that much harder. Um, and obviously you've done that because you, you know, you've had a good career so far, but I got a feeling we're going to see bigger and better things from even bigger and better things from you this year. Uh, the coaches have talked about you a lot. Coach Brown mentioned you the other day as one of the most improved guys on the team on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, can you speak a little bit about what your expectations are for your senior year? Um, I'm just really trying to just focus on like the day by day, not really focus on like the future, like after mm -hmm. football season, like the draft and all that. I'm really just focused on just competing. My main focus right now is just uh try to compete with Wyatt, uh, probably the one of the best tackles in the country. Mm -hmm. Um, just try to get better each and every day to compete. Um, even if when I lose, win or lose in any situation, just try to like just know how to correct myself after the play and know what I did wrong. Right. I feel like that's the big thing right now. Awesome. And speaking of white, I'm actually glad you brought that up because I was going to ask you about that anyway. So you all right, be honest with me, Sean. Who's okay. winning most of the battles? You were Wyatt. 
I mean, I ain't going to lie. First day he had me, I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's it's been back and forth a little bit right now. Good. Um, he's a great player, so yeah, I feel like it's kind of back and forth. Hey, you practice against the best. It's going to make you that much better, right? And I'm sure he feel. I'm sure if I asked him, he would say the same about you. So I'm sure there's a lot of respect there for those guys on the offensive side. And um, going back to you mentioned, and I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to ask you any questions about Akeem's transfer, nothing like that. But just just a general question: have, have, Do you still talk to Akeem occasionally? And if, if so, uh, how's he doing? I talk to him sometimes. He's doing good though. Good. Is He's he happy? Good. Is he happy yeah. in Miami? He likes it in Miami. So. Good. Okay, yeah. that's good. Good to hear that. I'm not going to go any further with that. Uh, <laughs> don't want to dig into his personal life or anything like that, but I just wanted to ask you that question. Um, talk a little bit about, obviously, I've got your social media handle on the screen, uh, your X handle at Sean Martin 91. So if people want to interact with Sean and follow him, go to X at Sean Martin 91, just, just like it sounds. But you 91 is no longer your number. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Can you go into, a lot of listeners may not know the story behind that, so can you explain what number you're changing to and why? Um, I changed my number to five. Uh, the reason behind that is, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody in Mercer County probably knows what happened. Right. But um, in high school, one of my closest friends died from a brain aneurysm um, uh, in 2019. He was 17. Um, and then senior year, um, every, every time we practiced, Whoever practices the best got to wear the jersey that game week. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, Graham, I think, Jaheem or JJ wore five. Mm -hmm. um, Princeton, really can't remember. But each each and every each and every game week, whoever practices the best um, got to wear the wear the number. Uh, awesome. I got to wear it uh, a couple times yeah. just for like captains. Never yeah. actually got the opportunity to wear it in the game. So I've been wanting the number since I got here, but yeah. never had the chance. Right. And this year, um, I asked Cole Brown if I had if I, if I could get the number. Yeah. And he thought about it for a while. And I guess he finally gave me the number. So yeah. that's awesome. That's a great tribute. Uh the young man's name for those who don't know is Tony Webster. Uh here in Mercer County where we are, it's, it's like Sean mentioned, it's a well known, well known young man, well known story about what happened to him. He was a his father, if I'm not mistaken, is a coach on the Bluefield staff, isn't he? Yeah, he's Tony Webster Senior. He's a uh, middle school football coach, and he's a boys men's basketball coach. Right. So, so yeah, the you know they live, eat, breathe Bluefield High School sports. From everything I've heard, Tony was a great young man uh, and a good athlete as well. So, uh, it's an awesome tribute to your friend Tony, and uh, you know I'm really I'm sure your your folks back in Bluefield are are uh, very excited about it. Yeah, I'm not believe they are. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Coach Brown, and I, I don't, I'm hoping this doesn't make your head swell too big, but uh, Coach, you, I'm sure you've heard it already, though. Coach Brown mentioned the other day that you, when he was talking about, you know, you, somebody asked about you specifically, and he mentioned that he thinks that you have the opportunity to not only be an NFL draft pick, but to be an early round pick. Um, is that your ultimate goal is, is play in the league and, and, you know, get drafted? Um, yeah, that's my goal. Um, that's, that's something I've dreamed about since I was seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. Um, I never thought I'd be this big as I am now, but like, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to focus on day by day. I ain't really focus on the future right now. Uh, right. I know like if I focus on the future too much, I'll never focus on my current state or the present, like present time right now. So, right. I've kind yeah. of learned from that in the past. Just focus on what I got to do now rather than yeah. focus on the future. Yeah, if you, if you focus on the day-to-day -day results or the day-to-day -day process, the results will take care of themselves. Exactly. Right? Is that, is that yeah. the process? You're, that, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's exactly how I'd be feeling. Yeah. That's a very mature mindset, man. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you about that I don't think anybody in the media has asked you about yet uh, is General Manager Drew Fabianich is now part of the staff, and he's mentioned in some interviews – that he doesn't say, he said he doesn't say a whole lot to you guys, but he will tell you what you need to do better, what you need to improve on, that kind of thing. Have you had any interactions with Coach Fabianich? And if so, uh, what is that like? If you can speak to that and what are, are some of the feedback he's given you? Um, we had a lot of conversations. Just, he's just telling me, um, just like, I don't know. He, he I mean, he's kind of like, he knows my grandfather a little bit. So he's like, okay. He kind of be like, 
I don't know. He he's chill though. He, like he's cool, but yeah. he's 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 kind of hard on me. I would say. Right. He doesn't ever smile until I might do something good. Other than that, yeah. yeah. Straight. He's always serious. Uh, he always yeah. tells me good feedback. Things I need to know. Good. Things I need to hear. Even if I don't want to hear it, he'll right. tell me. So. Yeah. That's great. Do you think having somebody like that there is is a benefit to you to you guys, especially those of you who want to play at the next level? I would say it's a benefit because he's been in the league so long. He knows like what guys like what teams expect out of people. So mm-hmm. I feel like that really, really benefits us um, and helps the coaches like realize like things we need to do better at or just like certain positions we should be in or what certain positions we should play, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Awesome. Good deal. Thanks for that. Yeah. I noticed, uh, did I see that you had a Dallas Cowboys sweatshirt on a minute ago? Oh, did no. I see that right? You don't? No. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I thought I saw a star on your sweatshirt, so I was thinking nah. maybe. Nah. So who's, who's your NFL team? I like the Giants, but they the Giants. Bad, so. Oh yeah, you definitely don't have a Dallas shirt on then if you're a Giants yeah, fan. They're pretty bad. So that's all right. My team, uh, my team. I wouldn't say they're bad, but it's the Buffalo. I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. So I mean, they they're pretty good. They just gotta get past the Chiefs. Yeah, that's, and that's the only problem. They're like the Chiefs are like the Chicago Bulls of basketball. From I don't know, you're too probably too young to remember it, but back in the '90s, man, nobody could beat Jordan and the Bulls, yeah. man. And it's like. That's kind of that's kind of how it is now with the Chiefs. Yeah, you know? golly, this the, the finally the fi- Bills finally have a good team, and then boom, there's the Chiefs right in their way. They've broken my heart too many times, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, want to talk to you a minute about, and I know I'm jumping around a lot here, but I've got some notes wrote down. But uh, first of all, Coach Jackson, the other day, that you've always been a pretty soft spoken guy, and I've even heard you say in interviews that you don't, you know, that you're kind of a quiet guy. Coach Jackson said he's having a hard time getting you to shut up this year. Um, <laughs> Is that true? I, uh, I wouldn't say that. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. I'll be trying to just have fun, joke around a little bit. That's awesome. practice Or when I come to the sideline. Uh, yeah. I kind of, I think it helps the young guys out a little bit. Yeah. Not, um, not let them like worry about mistakes. Just really just have fun with it. Just let them realize football's a fun game. Not it's always serious. So. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, obviously he was obviously he was joking when he said it and was mess, messing with you. Probably knew you would hear him say that because uh, he had a smile on his face. But I just found that pretty comical because all the interviews I've seen you in, you know, I'm, I know you've been – I've even heard you mention it, you know, that you don't uh, talk a whole lot. So, for him to I say like, that. I, I talk when I'm comfortable. I only yeah. talk when I'm uncomfortable. So. That's – that's Nothing wrong with that. And it's cool to see that you've come out of your shell, especially now that you're a senior. And, and like you said, if you think it'll help the younger guys a little bit, uh, I'm sure they like that leadership. And uh, and it makes them feel more comfortable too, right? Yeah. That they have somebody like you that can joke around, laugh, have fun, and not be so tight and, and tense and uptight all the time, right? And yes, sir. Got to ask you about – obviously, you've played now in both backyard brawls and uh, Black Diamond Trophy games. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, I know you probably hate them both, Virginia Tech and Pitt both, right? <laughs> which which team, which game do you see as a bigger rival for West Virginia, Pitt or Virginia Tech? I would say Pitt for sure because they're just right up the road. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a rivalry that's been going forever, so I feel like Pitt's probably the bigger rivalry. I mean, yeah. the Tech the tech rivalry ain't too bad, though. It, it's it's all right. It was, it was nice playing. playing yeah. Well, I mean – the reason I want to ask you that, because, you know, I'm from Southern West Virginia, just like you, and we're, we're only an hour from Virginia Tech's campus. So there's a lot of Virginia Tech fans in Southern West Virginia where you yeah, and I are from. And so I think for us down here in the Southern part of the state, that rivalry probably means more to us than it, than maybe the folks up in Morgantown, the fans in Morgantown. But I wanted to get a player's perspective on that, on that rivalry too. Uh, but I, I figured Pitt would be your answer, but. I thought it'd be an interesting question to ask. Pit, pit for sure. Yeah. Um, what are not? This might be questions people have asked you before, but it's I find it intriguing. What are some guys? Who are some guys that fans may not know about that are showing out in in spring ball so far? Um, the first perspective, I would say, um, Hammond Russell, Zach Keith, um. Uh, Josiah Trotter, he got hurt uh, right. last spring, but I feel like he's going to have a huge impact this year. Awesome. Um, Aiden Garns, he came from Duquesne. 
Yeah. Um, I say Zay Flowers, uh, the part Israel boys. Um, I would say Ty French. He just transferred from a uh, SES school. Mm-hmm. Um, Corey McIntyre. Uh, I say Tor Simmons. Yeah. What about the offensive side? Offense. I say the little freshman ass, the running back. Okay. Uh, Play uh, Ash? I think, yeah, I, think, I think he might do something. Awesome. Um, Nick Malone, he played a little bit last year. I say Will Dixon will step up a lot Good. this year. Um, I, I had high expectations for him when he when he uh, when he signed with you guys. So I hope he does. Um, let me see. I mean, we got a uh, we got Bray. He transferred from Okie State. Right. He's been making a couple plays. EJ, everybody know EJ's name. I mean, mm-hmm. I feel like he's gonna step up. He's a EJ big Horton. factor this year. Yep. The Marshall transfer. Yeah, I say TJ Johnson too on defense. TJ Jackson on defense as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If uh, what are ways fans can do to support you from an NIL perspective? Um, I mean that doesn't really matter. Um, I would okay. say just come to the games. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Good answer, man. Yeah, I know. At one time, there were some T-shirts and stuff like that folks could buy, and uh, I know there's jerseys on fanatics people can buy things like that. Are you even aware of that stuff? Oh uh, yeah, time? I know about this. I know about the shirts and the jerseys and stuff because my okay. mom, my mom wants jerseys. Obviously, I get it. My dad. And but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm aware, but I don't really. I'm not really worried about it. I get it. People You're want there to buy, play ball, right? Buy it. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it. Okay. Your your uh your goal is to make. NFL money, right? That's your. I mean, that's the goal, but I just yeah. want to play a uh, little legacy for my son. Hopefully, he can you know, not follow my footsteps, but build his own legacy. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, kid, not I ain't got no son yet. I'm just saying. I was but gonna ask. Kids, I didn't know you had kids, a son. No, I got I got a little dog. I call him my daughter, <laughs> but other than that, no, nah, I ain't got no kids. But I understand your future kids. Yeah, my future kids. That's great, man. That's awesome. Well, as as somebody from Southern West Virginia, um, obviously I'm biased, but you know I cheer really hard for you in games. Every time you make a play, I get excited. Um, and I've been wanting to get you on the show for a while. Just we, you know, hadn't been able to work it out. So, but you know, like again, as someone from Mercer County, uh, it's a small community here. Yeah, Bluefield and Princeton are rivals on the field, but once, but you know, but but we also cheer for each other to succeed in life and and uh, you know do good things because. You know, well, you know how it is being from West Virginia. We're kind of a tight knit state, man. Uh, we want to cheer for other West Virginians, and especially when you come from small towns like Princeton, Bluefield, and these types of areas. So, the success you're having, man, I couldn't be more proud of you. Uh, sir, thank you so much. And uh, I know you're going to do great things this year. Uh, but before we do I go, I do have to ask you since I mentioned it, I, obviously, I know the Graham Bluefield robbery is massive, right? Yeah. Uh, do you guys – do the Bluefield guys consider Princeton a big rival as well or, or not um, as much? I wouldn't say no. Really? No. I wouldn't okay. say that, no. I, I mean, well, every time we play Graham, it's like that's that's the big ri- biggest yeah. rivalry. It's like we, right. don't, we don't really like each other. Uh, right. Princeton, otherwise, never had a problem with them. So. Okay. I, I had a feeling you'd say that. I know – I think I mean, us Princeton fans look at Bluefield as a rival. Because to be honest, Bluefield's had Prince Bluefield had Princeton's number for a long time. Yeah. Now, Blue, now Princeton's been able to turn the tide here the last couple of seasons, as you probably know. Yeah, I've seen it. But uh but uh Princeton's program's on the rise, thankfully. They they they're finally doing some good things there. They've had a couple of good uh coaches that have been able to get that program built back up. I, I can't speak to Bluefield because I don't know what's going on over there, but uh I know Coach Simon's a good coach and I know he'll get to get Bluefield back to win again. I got faith in that. But I just want to get your perspective on someone who's played in that game, if it was considered a rival or not from the Bluefield side. Uh, Speak, I, yeah. Because when I was in high school, they weren't very good. So was, I know, right? Yeah, Princeton. Graham, Princeton wasn't Graham good was for kinda, a long time. Graham was kind of competition. Our first two years, well, after the first two years, we kind of yeah. yeah. After the first two years, we blew them out. So. They're good again now, too. By the way, Graham is. I guess you know that, though. Yeah, they're 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 pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I feel like high school football has changed since. I left high school. I don't think it's that good anymore. I can't, I can't just sit there and watch the game. I kind of get bored. Do you really? Wow. Yeah. 
Um, now I'm not, I, I didn't go to, I live in Princeton now. My kids go to Princeton, but I didn't grow up in Princeton. I don't, I'm, I, I don't know if I should tell you where I went to school. Where you go to school at? Pikeview. Ah. <laughs> I got nothing against Pikeview, though. I know you don't, but, uh, man, we, Pikeview's, they're, they're, yeah. they, they're bad at football and have they were, been. They were good in, uh, like 2013, 2014 in basketball. Yeah. They were, and they've had oh, some good basketball teams. They're they're they were good, good in football a couple times, but my sophomore year we went upstate, and then they went upstate uh, the year before I went there back in night. I'm old. Back in 1995, I think they went upstate. They went upstate again, and we went upstate again in '97, I think it was. And then I don't think they went. I don't think they. I don't know if they've ever been upstate again. Maybe once or twice back in the 2000s. But they have been good in other sports. They've been good at baseball. They've been good at basketball, soccer. Track things like yeah, they that. Yeah, so. they've been pretty good at soccer all, all the time. Yeah. I remember in middle school they used to beat them. Burks on Bluefield. Yeah, yeah. So, but for whatever reason, football it's just not translated. But uh, hopefully they'll get it together. But, but yeah, it's I've kind of become a Princeton. You know, because my kids go to Princeton, I I've kind of become a, a Tiger. Uh, so so don't hate me for that. I'm not. I don't. Want to. Now, if I was a G man, now if I was a Graham G man, you might feel uh, different. I still want to hate you. I have friends at, at Graham. So. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, I don't. Uh, speaking of Princeton, have you had a chance to meet Dom Collins yet? Yeah, I talked to him. Uh, I came home for a little bit and I seen him, so I talked to him for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he's looking he, forward to getting up there. He's a pretty and, good uh, kid. So I mean, yeah. I, I think he's a good kid. Yeah. I just told him he just got to change his perspective when he come to college because it's it's different. Yeah. It's different high school. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's good that he'll have uh, somebody there like you. I know you're only there for one year with him, but uh, that one year can make a big difference. It's cool that he's going to have somebody like you that's, you know, from the area. He can kind of look to as a, as a mentor. You know, even though you play different positions, you still – football's football, and, and he can learn the ropes, you know, practice habits and study habits, all that stuff that's important for everybody. You know, you can kind of show him the way. And I think it's – hopefully that will go a long way uh, for him having you there. I think it will. Yes, sir. Um. Any, any, before we, before I let you go, I, I know you've got things to do. You're a busy guy. It's, it's, you know, spring ball time. And I know you've got st- probably work, uh, school work to do and all that. But do you have any messages at all for, for the Mountaineer faithful out there who are, are watching this? Uh, no, nah, this, um, they always support us during games. Um, I mean, I know they can get mad sometimes when we lose, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. They just, you know, just keep bringing energy to the games like always. Uh, so I say, yep. Well, listen, we cannot wait as a fan base. We can't wait to August 31st. I know you guys probably, I know coach Brown will play it down a little bit, but I can imagine you've guys got that circled on your calendar. Um, uh, yeah. Penn state coming to town and you guys probably know exactly how many days it is. I, yeah, it's like, I think 140 something. Yeah. So I can't wait. I think it's a great opportunity for, for you guys to show the world who you are, what you can do. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll see you guys playing in, in Arlington at the end of the year. That's that's, the, that's goal. the ultimate goal, right? Yeah, that's the goal. Awesome. Well, Sean, uh, again, I want to thank uh, Brandon Disney State Farm in Bluefield, West Virginia, for being the sponsor of this show. Uh, again, he just writes insurance policies in West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, life insurance, health insurance, and auto insurance. Go check him out. Uh, go to drivewithdisney.com uh, is his website. He insures Sean and his family, so uh, I'm sure he'll be glad to give you give you a quote if you're interested. But uh, but thanking him for this show and and Sean, thank you for taking time out of your day to do this, man. And uh, yes, good luck good luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Have a good day. You too. If you want to support Sean Martin or one of your other favorite West Virginia athletes, all you have to do is click the Fanatics link in my description box and get you a custom made Sean Martin jersey. That's right. You can support Sean or one of your other favorite West Virginia players by using that link. It'll also be a way you can support what I do here at Coos's Corner because I'll make a small commission. So do that right now and don't miss out on your opportunities to help your favorite West Virginia Mountaineer athlete.